Hey guys, thanks for joining us today on Memory Monday. Uh, we are going to do a continuation of a story that we began last week. This is actually a story I've never done before. So as we look at this, I'm going to be looking at this story having never looked at it before other than just reading scripture or preparing for a sermon, which I don't think I've ever preached this particular passage. So join us today as we look at a story from the life of Daniel, a continuation of what we've looked at for the last several weeks. Well guys, I appreciate you being with me. I'm here by a busy road, but I just couldn't help. I uh, found this little Japanese garden here in Georgetown, Kentucky, and it was going, man, this place is just gorgeous. So I, I just wanted to come and hang out here a little bit, and I thought, well, while I'm here, I'll shoot a video. So hopefully on my audio, my uh, microphone won't pick up quite as much of the traffic noise as I'm afraid it might. But in our story today, you know, the, over last week, we looked at two different stories from Daniel where King Darius uh, was kind of tricked into having Daniel thrown into the lion's den. And Daniel was miraculously spared by the Lord, and King Darius was thrilled. And then the last part of the story that we looked at last week was King Darius having the men and their families uh, who had plotted against Daniel, thrown into the lion's den, where they were pretty much instantly eaten by the lions. And so here is our story from God's Word. Then King Darius wrote, To all peoples, nations, and languages that dwell in all the earth, peace be multiplied to you. I make a decree that in every dominion of my kingdom, men must tremble and fear before the God of Daniel, for he is the living God and steadfast forever. His kingdom is the one which shall not be destroyed and his dominion shall endure to the end. He delivers and rescues and he works signs and wonders in heaven and on earth who has delivered Daniel from the power of the lions. So this Daniel prospered in the reign of Darius and in the reign of Cyrus the Persian. And there is our story from God's Word. By the way, this is in Daniel chapter 6. We're just looking at verses 25 through 28. And because there's a lot of dialogue here, this is not the easiest story to remember. I, I realize that. But there are some things here that as you're looking at the story to remember it, it might help you. Peoples, nations, and languages that dwell in all the earth. So picture that, you know, peoples and nations and languages, and they're all over, just look at that in your head. Peoples, nations, languages. Man, this vast cacophony of, of humanity, right? Peace be multiplied to you. I make a decree that in every dominion of my kingdom, I, my kingdom, and, and then he, he starts putting some words together. Men must tremble in fear. And then he said, before the God of Daniel. We're going to look later in the story, not my God, the God of Daniel. For he is the living God and steadfast forever. So he goes off in just a, a little praise thing here, and he talks about, He's the living God, steadfast forever. His kingdom is the one which shall not be destroyed. I find that interesting because he's making a decree in his kingdoms, yet he's talking about the God of Daniel whose kingdom will not be destroyed. So, you know, again, kind of, you almost can hear him realizing, yeah, at some point my kingdom's going to come to an end. Uh, but, and it says, and his dominion. Daniel's God's dominion shall endure to the end. Again, he's, he's repeating, steadfast forever, not be destroyed, endure to the end. And then he switches to what God does. He delivers and rescues. He works signs and wonders. Delivers, so tremble, fear, and, and after tremble and fear, it talks about 
living God, steadfast. You know, he describes who God is. And now he describes what God does. Delivers, rescues, works, signs, and wonders in heaven and on the earth. And then he shares the biggie as far as he's concerned, who rescued, who delivered Daniel or rescued Daniel from the power of the lions. And this is like, man, this is something I saw on my own. So this Daniel, and it kind of sums up that story at the end. So this Daniel prospered in the reign of Darius and in the reign of Cyrus the Persian. So even though this is Darius entering this or uh, giving this decree, still it's mentioning not just Darius, but Cyrus as well. And in my introduction, you know, I will, as I go to look at this, I will, because Cyrus is mentioned, I will want to look prophetically, and because that's one of the issues that people have with the book of Daniel, right? Is that uh, these people were named before they were ever on the scene in, in Scripture. And so uh, uh, this should be a fun story to look at. But again, read this story out loud. Uh, I, I haven't even gone through and changed my language yet. I haven't gone through with a lot of the pronouns and, and made them more personal. But I do need to understand as I'm remembering this story that it's Darius that is speaking. So I, me, my kingdom. You know, and, and this, I mean, just, you know, you're going to have to kind of picture in your head what kind of man is this? Uh, do you see him being a, uh, you know, do, do you see him being a humble man or humble in the sight of God? So I would love to hear some of your comments about this. Uh, uh, somebody suggests, somebody in our Wednesday story time suggested this story. I've never done this a story before, so I'm, I'm kind of intrigued. I'm looking forward to it, and uh, I hope you enjoy this as, as much as me. So uh, as you learn the story, read it out loud, put your paper away, close your Bible, repeat what you can remember, then look to see what you got, read it out loud again, add those actions and expressions as you go along. And before you know it, you will have this story down. But again, you'll get it down even farther as you begin asking questions about the story and digging into it for yourself. So until the next time, keep on telling those Bible stories.